Good morning. Tell us about yourself. Good morning. My name is Grace Mukumbate. I'm a PhD student in the chemistry department. I am currently working on uh, finding new ways of killing the mosquito that spreads malaria. Um, I'm presently looking at the part of the mosquito that is attacked by insecticides that are used currently. And uh, why I'm working on this is because the mosquito is becoming very, very resistant to most insecticides that are used. So we would like to come up with an alternative position in the mosquito body where this insecticide can attack. And this will lead to um, destruction of the mosquito and enhance the elimination of malaria. So Grace, are you saying that you're not working on new drugs, but you're trying to find new vulnerable points in the mosquito? I am working on uh, finding new vulnerable points, yes, and my results will lead to the development of new drugs. Are you working closely with other researchers? Is it a big collaborative effort, a team effort? Yes, I am working in collaboration with a team in Sweden, uh, where I, I visit them every year to go and look at my results and come up with new ideas on how we can actually design. Because what I'm doing is mostly at the moment theoretical work where we are designing the structure of this position where the insecticide will attack. So I never really thought about this. Where does the current insecticide work on a mosquito? I just assumed it wiped it out from top to bottom. No, when the mosquito takes in this uh, insecticide, the insecticide will go to a specific specific position in the body of the, of the mosquito. And what is that position? Scientifically, we call it a receptor. It is something that receives, right? And when it receives that insecticide, th that will block reactions that take place in the body of the mosquito. And this receptor can be anywhere in the body of the mosquito. Is this a particular part of a cell that can be found anywhere in a body, in the mosquito's body? It is a peptide, it is a molecule or a structure that is found in a cell in the thorax of the, body of the mosquito, in the head, in the abdomen, and especially when you look at what I am working on, this is found mostly in the flight muscles of the mosquito because we are focusing on reducing the amount of energy for the mosquito to fly. Why is it important to reduce the amount of energy? Because for the mosquito to fly, we know that when, for the mosquito to spread malaria, it must fly from one person to the other or from one place to the other. And for it to do that, it needs energy. So for, if we reduce the amount of uh, energy available for the mosquito to fly, it means it will not be able to fly even long distances or even from one person to the other, spreading malaria. How would this actually happen? Would you be designing tailor-made mosquitoes and releasing them into the population sometime in the future. I can understand how you might be researching receptor sites in a mosquito, but I can't quite see how it would help to be able to reduce a mosquito's energy, because I can only see how you could do that on a one-to-one -one basis. How would you do this in a big rollout plan? Okay, if I'm to focus on what I am doing now, the receptor that I am working on it is a receptor for a protein that initiates generation of mosquito of uh, energy in the mosquito body when it starts to fly. Because when the mosquito starts to fly, it has got some reserved energy, but it can only use that energy for a short time. Then it has to generate more energy during the flight. And when this happens now, this um, proton or molecule will come and bind to the receptor, and then this will cause a number of processes to take place in the mosquito body, giving a lot of energy. So to answer your question, we are not going to end up with designing mosquitoes, but we are focusing on designing new insecticides that are specific to the mosquito. And this insecticide might also cause a drop in energy levels in a mosquito? Yes, it will cause a drop because this, inse this insecticide will, will be a drug that will block the binding site on the receptor. 
And when that binding site is blocked, this will now prevent generation of energy for the mosquito to fly. And do you have any idea what your time plan is for this? Might we see progress in one year, five years, ten years? Uh, progress in terms of what I'm doing now, we've made uh, good progress because we now have the structure that we are, we are interested in and we are now identifying the binding site for where the, we need to block so that we don't have generation of, more of, um, of energy. And we are hoping that by end of next year we have designed the drug that can be used as an insecticide. Oh, so there's quite a lot of progress being made. Yes. Okay, is. Grace, thanks very much. Thank you.